wanted to film an art room tour because I like to watch these kinds of videos, so hopefully you enjoy this too. Um, I originally filmed commentary live, but apparently the microphone on my camera sucks really bad, and it sounds like there are about three of me, so I had to go back and film post-commentary. So we get to watch this together, kind of. Okay, let's start out with a quick overview from left to right, and then I'll go into further detail. So this is my desk, my main computer desk. Um, it's from Staples, I'll link it in the description, but I had been looking for a hutch desk for quite some time, specifically one that was similar to the desk that I had when I lived at my parents' house. This one is a bit smaller, um, but it's similar enough. So I went with this one. And I really like it. It's a good solid desk. Um, it stores all of my crap in easy to reach places. I keep my desktop down in the Hello, autofocus. In the desktop compartment, um, there was supposed to be a door that you install on the front of this, but it said in a big sticker on the door, do not operate computer with door shut. So like, what's even the point? So I just didn't install the door. Up top, I keep my headphones and a scanner. And that scanner is a document scanner, it's not an art scanner. We got it as a document scanner, but I still use it to scan my art occasionally, and it's actually pretty good. It is an Epson V39. Up top I keep colored pencils, which I use fairly often, and behind it I keep some Artist Loft uh, watercolor markers that I don't actually use very often. And then next to that is my Paltry Copic collection. Um, I made the case myself specifically to fit in that compartment, and then behind it I actually keep refills. Up top, on the top of my desk, are some plants. That African violet has seen better days. That cactus has seen better days. And the air plant's actually doing alright. The second compartment kind of just holds a few knickknacks. Uh, same with the third compartment. Uh, that is actually a ink set, a Chinese ink set, that my parents got me for some reason. And then the dowel rack, I'm actually quite proud of. Um, I built it to hold washi tape and ribbons, etc and you can just take the dowels out. And then it is screwed in with four L brackets to the sides, to the walls of that compartment. It's actually big enough to hold a roll of paper towels, which is my absolute favorite part about it, because that is perfect for an art room. I don't keep a whole lot else in that compartment. I keep a box of tissues. I keep my Copic swatches. Not the best use of space, but I'm pretty proud of the, uh, the system up top. Drawers that you don't need to know anything about because they just hold junk. Gotta have a junk drawer, right? The desk is actually kind of too small to hold both monitors. Um, particularly, if I had two widescreen monitors, we'd have a little bit of trouble. And the mic is actually my husband's. I stole it. It's fine, he doesn't use it. He knows where it is if he needs it. 
I keep my Wacom Intuos on the keyboard pullout that keeps it protected from dust and it also keeps it out of the way when I'm not using it. And then when I am using it, I just put it on the desk. Next to the desk, I keep my kind of uh, game development station. The laptop is my old zombie laptop from college. It has died and risen from the grave and now runs Linux. So whenever I need to port a game to Linux or Mac, I turn these two machines on. And that's really the only time that I turn them on. The Mac was very generously donated to me uh, by somebody who tested visual out and I'm very grateful for that. Above that is my Zayfrank poster. And then at the window is my art desk. And I love the natural light that comes in during the daytime. Today is pretty uh, dismal and gray out, but on a sunny day, this desk is a fantastic filming desk. I'm still kind of trying to figure out my filming setup. My tripod is too short. I also keep a lamp here for extra light when I'm filming. Here is a wee bab succulent. An extra mini tripod. The top drawer is mostly sewing stuff. There's also a couple of office supplies and chargers, etc. in here. Second drawer is mostly cutting tools. And a pair of nylon gloves. Nylon? They're not latex. I'm allergic. Last drawer is junk and some artist's tape. In back, I keep my pencil case, which holds my most used drawing utensils. If you want, I can do a what's in my pencil case video. Here are my watercolor and gouache brushes. I don't use these for acrylics. And the palette, the plastic palette, I mostly keep it there to protect the desk from water. Um, we have a black and white laser printer. I don't have a color printer because I currently don't make prints of my art, but maybe someday, we'll see. Underneath it is a filing cabinet that really you don't need to see. And above that is some art, mostly um, Audra Eclair prints. I am a huge fan of Nausicaa, and I love her own print. And that is a Manifold Garden print. And Transistor. Top of the bookshelf is my plushy supervisors. And the top shelf contains some fiction and some sketchbooks. Second shelf is kind of a, a weird shelf. It's got some plushies on it. It has my old uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance on it. And I keep a tea set for some reason. The third shelf is kind of my games shelf. I have some Dungeons and Dragons books and some cards and a charger, for some reason. The next shelf is mostly game design books. There's also 
some art history books, and next to that I keep my tarot cards. The last shelf is mostly just larger stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. Next is my artist's cart. I feel like every art YouTuber ever has this cart, and honestly, it's pretty useful. The top bin I keep most of the stuff that I use most often. So watercolor paper, watercolors, etc. Second shelf, I have this gouache palette that I can't close because if I close it, everything falls out. And then I have some other stuff that I use slightly less often, like colored pencils. Microns I actually use fairly often. Um, graphite pencils, which I almost never use. I've got some tracing paper and a homemade watercolor palette that was squeezed from some tubes that I don't remember. The bottom shelf, I keep my acrylics and some inks that I would like to use more often. I also have some fixatives and some markers. On the adjacent wall, I have my sword and sorcery print, Nausicaa painting, some other paintings that I need to finish or hang up, a cat tree that the cat doesn't actually like. Uh, spare chair that's in here for some reason. And then this is kind of my... I guess you would call it a relaxation corner. Um, but I have a pin board. And then here I have some candles and incense and other things that help me relax. Too much incense. Like, I will never use all of that. In this pullout, I have some sewing projects that I need to finish, and other scrap fabrics. And then the bottom cubby is actually empty. The closet is basically storage for stuff that I rarely use. So up top I have boxes, uh, the one on the left is mostly catch-all. I have a box for adhesives, and then underneath of that I have a box that has mainly craft supplies, like some glitter, some stamps, um, stuff I don't use particularly often, but I keep it around. Up top I keep old papers and things, like, uh, like cards. Some more candles. I think... I think those bags are all of my pan pastels, which tells you how often I use pan pastels if they're on the top shelf of a closet. I also keep my sewing machine in here, along with the box that the Mac came in. On top of the sewing machine is just some papers that I need to bind into a sketchbook. I have my bookbinders board, a spare cutting mat, and some other junk. The closet is kind of a mess. Um, that box has more of my bookbinding supplies in it, like cover paper, etc. Um, I think that's armature wire. I'm not really sure. And then the rest of the closet is just storage. So that's pretty boring. There's like suitcases and crap in there. So that is my art room. I love how much natural light this room gets on a sunny day. Like I said, today is pretty drab. I actually had to go steal a lamp from the living room so that I could film this video. And even though I'm kind of still figuring out my filming setup, I really enjoy working in this room. 
hope you enjoyed this video. You can check out some of my other speed paints. I'm currently posting a video once a month. Subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you know exactly when I upload. You can also find me all across the internet at Madam Barry on pretty much every platform. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Here's some adorable cat footage to finish this video off.